Hello and good morning. My name is Sarah Torbett and I'm doing this video blog today as a hope to be an inspiration for those of you who are parents of a child with autism or maybe you are a child that is living with autism. I am actually um, a parent with a seven-year-old child who was diagnosed with autism at three and a half. And one of the things that um, I wanted to discuss with you guys is that your potential is limitless and that only God knows your divine destiny and only God knows in full what uh, gifts and strengths are in you. And so even though we, um, we meet with our teachers, we meet with guidance counselors and therapists and so forth and we um, have been tested and we get tested in school and a lot of times you know we can get these negative reports that at this moment in time your child is this far behind in school and he needs to do this and this and this and or they may give predictions of what your child will be able to do 10 years from now or as an adult you know no one can predict what your child's potential is only God can do that and so what I would say is, yes, you know, take the information in, but know that God has a divine destiny for your child and that his or her potential is limitless. And um, one of the things I'll give you an example of my son, um, last year we put him in kindergarten for the first year, and we were told at the end of the year that he was so far behind uh, academically that we needed to put him on access points and take him off of core standards. Um, core standards are the same standards that um, neurotypical kids take uh, in, in school. And access points is supposed to be uh, more geared for kids who are really struggling with some learning disabilities. And my husband and I decided we wanted to give him that extra year. Even though the, the teachers and the counselors were all predicting that it would not help him, we went ahead and um, kept him back a year. And I'm proud and amazed today to report that um, he is on level with all of his subjects in kindergarten. Um, he's passing kindergarten, you know, completely with no issues. And, um, and he is going to move on to first grade and core standards. So I just want to encourage you that, you know, Believe in your child, no matter what, continue to believe in your child and believe that, you know, God has put in him or her gifts and talents that, you know, maybe aren't coming out yet, but they're in there. And I just know that your child is going to continue to surprise you as you keep believing and keep having faith that his or her destiny is going to continue to unfold and um, God is going to bring the right people and the right opportunities and the right tools for them to achieve their destiny. And, you know, the, the Bible says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper or succeed. And so just believe that no prediction, you know, of your child's potential, your child's destiny, your child's future, uh, that is limited, that is um, not what you believe for your child. I believe that you can even claim that, that, that those potentials are, are not going to, um, to be, they're not going to succeed. They're not going to succeed because God says no weapon formed against me. And I think those weapons can be, you know, ill predictions. They can be um, people's assumptions, people's judgments of our child or ourselves. So believe in yourself. If you have autism, know that God has you by the palm of his hand. He is guiding you. He is watching you. Keep the faith. Believe in yourself. And I love all of you. I think you guys are, you know, every child that has autism has amazing gifts and talents. And I just know that um, God has amazing things in store for your destiny. And thank you for watching. And I'm praying for you every day that God will reveal to you all of your gifts and strengths and that you'll be able to walk them out in faith and know that, um, you, that God is bringing the right people and the right tools to help you in every way. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you.